Hello YouTube. So today we're going to talk about a little fix that I have figured out or at least it works for me and I just wanted to share it with you people so that I know out there there are others who have faced the same problem and I think if they give it a shot it might work for them as well. So to start off with we're going to use a switch light today. We're going to use an 8-bit do adapter and we're going to use a DualShock 4 to connect it with your switch light. So the devices that we are going to use for today's uh, video are going to be a basic USB dongle uh, that turns USB-A and we need a USB-C Type-C to a USB Type-A converter which is called also called an OTG cable. Alright so Okay, so let me just go ahead and show you how this works first, and then I'm going to go and talk about the problems. So, first of all, we need to connect our USB hub adapter to the OTG cable as such. Um, okay. Alright, so, and then, obviously, you connect it with your switch light, just like that. So we have power, and then you connect your 8-bit dough adapter to your USB. Whoops. What is up with me and not being able to connect USBs today? Anyway, so now we have um, a slight beeping action. If you can see, I'm sorry for the light. I don't have better lighting. This was not a planned out video. just came across it, so decided to do it. And obviously you press the connect button and it's going to go and pair it with your 8-bit do device. And there you go. It is connected, it's connected, and as you can see, it's moving. So, um, so yeah, there you go. It works. So there's no problem with the device or the switch light or, or the controller itself. But the problem that I was facing initially when I initially bought it was there was no pairing no matter what I tried even the same steps that I just showed over here I tried them and it didn't work I got in touch with 8-bit dough they were very supportive they tried helping me out with multiple options but they none of them came to success I don't know for what reason so I gave up on my 8-bit dough device I actually did and I had to go out and buy a pro controller with which I started playing wirelessly and then one night I decided okay might as well just give it one more try and see if it works and it did so in my head I believe for the people who are not being able to who've, who've already got one of these devices and they're not being able to connect it to their uh, Nintendo switches I would suggest you to try to connect your your specific Nintendo switch with a pro controller and see um, or initiate a sort of connection with your device for the first time and then onwards probably your 8-bit do device is going to work and just one other thing that I wanted to say is that um, when I bought my pro controller uh, I have it in front I have it nearby but never mind so when I bought my pro controller and I, I brought it home and I, I selected the pairing new controllers option it did not connect my pro controller did not connect so I was furious I was thinking what is wrong with Nintendo and why is this happening to me is my device busted or what so for some reason when you hit pair new controllers it doesn't work even with a pro controller I don't know why but in order for me to get it to actually work I had to go to the change grip order select it and then see there's nothing over here for the time being so I'm gonna go ahead and press these two and there you go it worked so that means if you're facing the same problem as I did initially where your device is not working I mean it pairs with your controller the device will pair with your controller I will show you this once I'm done explaining all this uh, the device will pair but it will not have any sort of access and I will show you show it to you why uh, this has this issue all right so uh, as you can see this is working fine but when you pair new controllers it won't come up and my 
my option for pairing new controllers on the pro controller also did not work i had to go to the change grip order in order to register my pro controller itself with my switch light i don't know why that happened but uh, okay so i'm gonna just show you one other thing why initially i had the problem and i could not figure it out neither could 8-bit dough back then uh, but yes, kudos to their support because they've been very helpful and I really do admire their company because they're trying to bring up um, things that, you know, help us uh, on the user end, uh, I believe. So anyway, no, uh, enough with the uh, um, explaining and blah, blah, blah with the companies and all that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this off for the time being and see there's no connection, right? So um, what I'm going to do is detach the cable and try and connect my 8-bit dough to, it's still beeping, I guess. Yeah, it's beeping. And I'm going to try and connect it with my DualShock 4. So it did connect it vibrated and it's connected but as you can see there is no movement there's nothing so this is what I faced initially and this is what a lot of people are facing so it connects it uh, pairs up with your DualShock with um, with a power outage from obviously the OTG itself just the OTG but um, it's not gonna work but obviously I'm gonna show you again that it works so you disconnect your 8-bit dough adapter, you connect it to your USB-A dongle, and you simply just, it's, it's a breeze actually, you just have to connect it to your OTG connector. And once you have light, it's gonna beep, it's beeping, and then you simply pair. And voila it works so I hope uh, this uh, little demonstration video has helped you out if you're facing this sort of problem and um, if even if this has not helped you out do you leave some comments in the comment section I'll try and get back to you if you have some other questions that I could think that I could answer to your fans or to the viewers I'll mo most definitely be try to help be more helpful and uh, that's about it. So I hope this works out for everybody who is facing, who has faced the same issues that I had faced. And I was almost about to give up on my 8-bit dough. But right now I have a DualShock 4 that's working with my Switch. Just like, just like the way they uh, stated when I bought this device. And uh, yeah, it works. So that's about it. Now, if you like this video, hit a like or subscribe. That would give me an uh, incentive to understand that, yes, people are watching and it has been helpful. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Enjoy your Switch.